So now we are going to discuss about the stability of complexes. So here, so the complex compound constant, stability constant we can take. So in what way, suppose one metal is surrounded with four ligands, you are getting ML4 complex. So that K equilibrium, so overall. Constant so that is ml4 concentration divided by m concentration into l concentration to the power of 4. So this is the first process. Otherwise, next step by step you are doing so m is combining with 1l, you are getting ml. So here ka equal to ml divided by m into l next b step by step so ml plus l you are getting ml2 so kb ml2 by ml into l Next, ML2 plus L, ML3. So, Kc equal to ML3 by ML2 into L. Next, D. ML3 plus L gives rise ML4. So, here Kd equal to ML4 by ml3 into l see now what is the relation so suppose if you see the k overall k overall equal to ka into kb into kc into kd So in examination directly they will ask the overall constant here instead of multiplication they will put plus or some or minus otherwise ka kb by kc kd so like that they will ask questions which of the following is correct like that see this k overall also called as a stability constant stability constant K value increases, K overall increases means automatically stability is also increases. So suppose they are given four, com four values, so which one has the highest K value that has more stability also you can see that one. Next. The stability also, stability of a complex is also depends on a metal. So metal nature also. Next, ligand nature also. So it is depending on two. So metal nature, so metal nature means what? What are the important conditions for this one means? metal positive oxidation states are high so positive highest positive oxidation state is increases means what happens it will attract electrons electronegativity increases electronegativity increases means their ligand is giving electrons they are easily taking next positive charge increases means size decreases so decreasing of size more positive oxidation state electronegativity increases next many empty orbitals many empty orbitals are present so then the stability of the complex will be increases so the metal must show these properties next ligand nature ligand nature ligand compulsory strong field ligand so strong field ligands are increases the stability of the complexes. Next, if they have 
empty orbital if they have empty orbital so then what happens from metal also they are taking so then what happens double bond will be observed so metal you take a carbon monoxide carbon monoxide is giving to metal next metal lone pair is given to carbon monoxide so between metal and ligand double bond is happened means stability is increases next chelating ligands so chelating ligands so means one ligand is combining with metal with many so one ligand is combined with many bonds so that is what that is called as chelation so chelation is increases means automatically stability of the complex also increases next we'll see the importance of so importance of a complex compounds so where the usage uses also we can take suppose one you take analytical chemistry when you take a analytical so analytical applications so in that some examples uh, we can see suppose uh, agcl is there agcl hg2cl2 so mercurous chloride silver chloride so then how you can separate suppose uh, you are taken uh, ammonium hydroxide or ammoniated water you are taken means agcl is a forming complex ag nh3 taken twice so plus uh, cl minus so it is a soluble this is soluble the hg2cl2 is insoluble so this is this is not forming a complex compound so it is insoluble so you can easily separated silver chloride and that one next suppose cuso4 without a hydrate form actually this is white in color it is added with ammonia so then you will get cu nh3 taken 4 sulfate very thick blue so that you are getting a blue complex of the copper sulfate next iron iron fe plus 3 fe plus 3 so potassium thiocyanate if you are taken means fe scn taken plus 2 this is a blood red color so identification of d block elements also this complexes only useful next nickel nickel plus 2 nickel plus 2 using dmg dmg ligand so dimethyl glyoxamato ligand so because of this ligand you can easily forming the complex and we can easily identified so the nickel element next estimation of hardness of water estimation of hardness of water so which ligand we are using means famous edta so edta ligand is famous to identify the hardness hardness means what so here magnesium plus 2 magnesium plus 2 calcium plus 2 ions are present in the water that you call as a hard water so these are mixed with edta complex compound is forming these are separated so hard water becomes as soft water and how much is there we can identify by using volumetric analysis so next in metallurgy in metallurgy also these are useful so again these are a revision only so revision with as well as a complex so here gold gold or silver so these are extracted by using which one NaCN so they become as AgCN taken twice plus so complex form only so gold and silver they are using 
treated with the NaCN they become as a complex next how nickel is purified nickel is purified by using a carbon monoxide so you are getting NiCO taken for a complex this is what Mons process so Mons process next when Arkell's process means so when Arkell's process you can use so when Arkell's is not that much of a so next ammonia detection ammonia detection what we are using so ammonia detection purpose so we are using K2HGI4 Nessler's reagent next in photography in photography photo fixing agent so silver bromide silver bromide is coated on the surface of plastic film so due to the defect in AGBR that is showing photos so photo fixing agent we are using Na2S2O3 hypo so then it become as Na3AGS2O3 so taken twice suppose there is a photo fixing agent so plus NABR is going outside so this is a precipitate is happened so this is a photo fixing agent also involved in the complex compound formation only next electroplating so electroplating suppose rolled gold otherwise what we are called as suppose any ornament we are coated with gold or silver so we are using electrodes positive and negative electrodes we are taken solution in solution if you are taken AGCL or AUCL3 solutions these are not perfectly coated on the anode so that's why they are used as complexes only silver and AU complex solutions are used as electrolyte so then only the complex compound of silver and gold only if you are taken that is perfectly coated on the electrodes next in biological process So in biological process also many more important in the form of complexes only. So hemoglobin you take. Hemoglobin contains so iron plus 2 complex compound only. Next globulin structure with Fe plus 2 that is a complex only. Next chlorophyll. So chlorophyll contains mg plus 2 that is also form in the form of a complex only next vitamin b12 so vitamin b12 cobalt it is a plus 1 oxidation state cobalt plus a complex form only that is. next plant growth so in plant growth also So here Fe iron plus 2 is uh, any other combination inorganic combination means that is not easily absorbed Fe plus 2 complex form complex with EDTA so easily absorbed easily absorbed from the soil first soil is absorbed next plant will be absorbed so EDTA complex form of iron plus 2. See in medical field. So in medical field also we can use full some. So some examples you take. Lead poisoning. 
so lead poisoning is happened means they are treated with so calcium EDT so we are using calcium EDT then what happens heavy metal lead is poisonous so lead is exchanged with calcium calcium is coming outside lead is combined with EDTA and coming outside from the next another very important that is the cisplatin so cisplatin many exams also they are asking about this one that is platinum ammonium chloride complex that to be in cis form so cis is important not the trans so it is used as anti-tumor or anti-cancer drug anti-cancer or tumor drug we are using see these are the importance of complex compounds so now we are going to discuss about one small concept that is OMC so OMC means organometallic compounds see the name itself is there Argano that is a hydrocarbons. So that means a CH3, C2H5, C3H7, anything organic hydrocarbons combining with metal. So, so this combination we are called as organo metallic compounds. If directly R group directly connected with metal, anyone is missing, so that is not an organo metallic compound. So that examples we seen means R, L, I, so Arganolithium, R, N, G, X, so Grignard, so Grignard reagent, so that is a Franklands, so these are also useful in the entrance, Franklands reagent, R2, Jeden, that is, so RNA, so that is what? So, woods. So, not woods generally, metal is sodium. So, RNA. So, in the middle. So, alkyl is combining with NA. That is a woods reagent. Next, next tetraethyl lead. So, ET4PB. So, ethyl group directly connected with lead. Next, Ziegler Nutta catalyst, very famous. So, what we are discussing, everyone direct questions only in your entrance. Ziegler Nutta catalyst. So, which of the following is Ziegler Nutta catalyst? Like that, they will ask. So, ALR3, aluminium alkyl. So, this is organometallic compound plus titanium chloride, TiCl3 or TiCl4. So, this combination is Ziegler Nutta. Next, Wilkinson catalyst. So, Wilkinson catalyst that is a so rhodium RH. So, tris triphenyl phosphine. So, rhodium chloride. So triphenyl phosphine rhodium chloride. So is the that Wilkinson catalyst. So direct to questions. So very very important also. Next classification. So classification of organometallic compounds. See these are classified into sigma bonded. Sigma bonded OMC, pi bonded OMC. Next, sigma and pi, both. So, sigma bonded OMC means only sigma bonds are existed. So, you can take uh, RLI, sigma bond only, RMGX, Grignard reagent only. So R2 Jeden. So that is so that is Frankland. Next tetraethyl lead. So tetraethyl. So ET4 PB. 
so tetra ethyl lead next jiegler nut catalyst alr3 alr3 plus titanium chloride so that combinations tcl3 or tcl4 in between metal and hydrocarbon you have sigma bond then it is called as sigma bonded omc next pi bonded omc so here important means pi bond is important here it is platinum very famous so three chlorines here ch2 double bond ch2 this pi bond is donated to the metal this is called as g salt so or g salt or g salt so pi bond that is also important in your entrance next ferrocene so that is a sandwich type of structures so cyclopentadienyl anion of iron negative so this is above five member ring below five member ring middle iron it is a sandwich structure it is a ferrocene so this pentadienyl anion means actually it has pi bonds negative charge so this rotation so pi bond is given to electrons to the central metal layer. next suppose chromine chromium you take benzene above one benzene below one benzene three pi bonds they are donated to chromium so this is chromocene so that is a chromocene these are the examples so pi bonded g salt ferrocene chromocene so next sigma bonded and pi bonded so metal so best example is carbon monoxide only is given to this one metal is donated pi bond so sigma bond pi bond so that means carbonyl compounds so metal carbonyls famous is what nico4 is there feco5 so fe2co9 so fe3co12 so mn2 co10 so like that so many carbonyls they are example for sigma and pi bonded omc next applications of omcs so some important points are there tell tetraethyl lead anti knocking agent anti knocking agent it is mixed in petrol olden days so now lead is poisonous so that's why they removed so anti knocking agent they are using ethyl alcohol right now so actually what is anti knocking means if petrol all are long chain means sound more and more it will come so they are converted into branches so branch is easily burning so for that purpose we are using so easily burning means sound is not coming so that is used as next silicones so silicones that is a waterproof materials so waterproof materials already your first year 14th group elements silicons so silicone so in the organic chemistry very famous two reagents rli rmgx these are useful in the organic chemistry see what happens here everywhere carbon plus only you are getting what is the importance of rli means negative charged carbons you are getting ch3 mg x see here magnesium has two empty boxes halogen has three lone pairs this lone pair is donated to this so magnesium and halogen bond double bond is there carbon and magnesium single bond is there this is only breakable that to be the importance of omc use carbon gets negative charge so very very important next so nickel is purified already we seen in the mons process so mons process is a famous so what is that nickel is purified by using carbon monoxide so this is what a strong field like and so these are the somewhat important of applications 
so useful in our entrance also